Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to Final Cut Pro 7 Basics. Uh, my name is Brian Town. I'm a certified Final Cut Pro um, 7 trainer. I'm working on Final Cut X uh, certification uh, as we speak, so look for those classes as well. Um, Final Cut Pro is, is probably one of the best uh, editing platforms uh, out there. Of course, there's Avid and Adobe Premiere as well, but uh, I've been working on Final Cut Pro since it came out. And um, I think it's a really easy program to use, um, but I think if there's just a few things um, that you get from this, it'll really help uh, your speed and your efficiency, and, and really you'll start to have a lot of fun with Final Cut. So um, the very first thing I want to show you, though, is what I'd like you to do before you actually open up Final Cut Pro. And, and this is a good idea to keep yourself organized, because probably the worst thing about Final Cut 7 in previous versions is it doesn't have a real good way for you to organize your files. And so what I'd like you to do is before you even open up Final Cut is just go down to your dock and click on your finder or you can double click on your um, hard drive and let's go ahead and just make a folder um, right on the desktop. And You can do that over here or you can do it in your finder. Um, I would suggest though that um, in the future when you do edit is you should um, always put your footage and all your files for your Final Cut Pro projects on a FireWire 400 or FireWire 800 drive. Um, and that's just a good idea because if your system crashes, you have all your original files um, and you have your backups on the system itself, um, so you're pretty safe. Now, uh, you can use USB. It's not very efficient to edit with Final Cut using USB drives. Um, and so I would suggest getting a 400 or 800 FireWire drive. We use G drives here and um, from GTEC and they're great. Also, um, editing across the network using Ethernet is not very efficient as well, so I wouldn't suggest that either. So you're better off working on a FireWire drive you know, for today. If you don't have one, let's just go ahead and uh, create one on the desktop. And for every project that you do, um, you should have a separate folder. And so what your folder is going to look like is something like this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this folder, um, and I'm just going to give it my name. And I'm going to call it Brian's um, Video Projects. So why don't you do the same thing. And then inside of that folder, what you're going to have over the course of time is you're going to have several folders um, that are within this folder that are going to be all separated by your projects. And you really want to try to keep yourself organized. And I'll show you the benefit of this, and you'll see it as we work through Final Cut 7. And so go ahead and create another folder inside of this by right-clicking and going New Folder. And we're just going to call this um, the Udemy um, Test Project. Okay? And that's what we're going to be using for today in Udemy, like, um, like you know because you're on it right now, is the uh, platform that we're learning how to use Final Cut. Now, what you're going to end up having in this folder is you're going to have this project and then later on you work on a music video so you have a folder called music video you're going to work on a commercial so you have a folder called commercial and so on and so forth but the interesting thing is what I want you to do inside of each one of your folders now again I remind you before you start Final Cut this is a good habit to get into I want you to create a series of five folders so we're just going to right click and hit new folder one of the folders is going to be called scratch slash video you'll see why it's called scratch I'm going to click below and hit another new folder and I'm going to call this audio. I'm going to click below and right click and create another folder and I'm going to call this graphics. I'm going to create another folder and I'm going to call it exports. And then the last one I'm going to create is going to be called DVD. Now you can also create a six folder if you want to, although I generally don't, but this is not a bad idea either called projects. Okay, so if you want to do that, go ahead. Um, but what I'm going to do is let's get rid of that. And where I'm going to put my project is just going to be right here underneath this. Now what I would suggest that you do is before you put any content in here, let's just go ahead and copy all five of these items. We'll make another folder on our desktop called Folder Structure. And what that's going to have in it are all our folders that we just created. So that instead of having to go through every time when we start a new project, we'll just have this folder structure in here. 
and inside of that is going to be all our folders that we need to create. So for example, if we're done with this test project and we're going to work on a short film today, we create our short film project and instead of having to go in and right click and do new folder, we're just going to simply highlight these, command C to copy them, command V to paste them, and now we have our five folders both in this project and in this project. And that really gives you a nice way to organize all your files in Final Cut because you'll see in a, in a little bit that there's a lot of them and they kind of go all over the place. And that's probably one of the most frustrating things that I see when I train people is where's all my stuff? It's getting uh, disconnected and I can't find anything. So this is essential. Um, I would do this and I do this every time and I would always just make a habit of it to do it before you actually open Final Cut. Um, and that's a good way for you to make sure that you're going to do it. Okay, so that's just the basic outline of folder structure. Uh, in our next lesson, we're going to actually go over Final Cut, open it up, and show you how those folders work when we're working on a project.